I always make movies about uh, desire, how desire pulls people together and maybe pulls them apart. The projection of desire is really something cinematic as well, because it's about the pulse that is invisible, but at the same time, it's there. It should be a freeing element. Sometimes it's the feeling of anticipation that ends up being more memorable than the thing itself. It's about the complicity of meeting each other, of a rendezvous, and the way in which things can change, maybe for the better. Margot Robbie just texted you and asked you on a date. Play that. We're playing with two visual energies. Jacob comes with an angular presence that is so beautiful. And Margot encompasses the power of femininity, but also the relaxed, energy of femininity. One is soft and round, one is straight and fast. Bernardo Bertolucci always said the cinema is not the frame before and the frame after, but the juncture between the two of them, that invisible thing that put together two images into a third image in the mind of the audience. Would you say that it's kind of like making the invisible palpable? Well, perfume is invisible and perfume is palpable. I always pick a fragrance for the character that I'm playing. It just kind of centers me in who they are. To try to understand how to visualize that invisibility and yet that concrete presence, it is something wonderful to try to tackle. My relationship with number five is just beginning. It's a real honor to join that amazing list of women who have been associated with number five.